Greetings, welcome to my domain, the King Drogos Michael. Welcome to Digimon Survive. I. Bought this game very recently. I seen it on sale at Walmart and I decided, you know what, why not? And. Like. I've never played a Digimon game before. The only time, the only thing I know about Digimon is the anime. Uh, so this is quite a unique foray. I had forgotten, I had learned like a little bit ago, like a few months ago, the perfect game to start. I can't remember if it was Digimon Survive or Cyber Sleuth, but I'm jumping straight in. To the Digimon rabbit hole with Digimon Survive, so let's get to it. Woot! <laughs> Hello. What was that? Do you want to run that by me again? This isn't dubbed either. It's just like One Piece. <laughs> One Piece wasn't dubbed either. Ow, my wrist current my wrist had to cramp. They made it over here already. Jesus, what is it? Slenderman and his brothers? You look like you're within those woods. Is that a... I recognize the Digimon. I can't remember its name. But I recognize it. I wish I could remember its name. It's the one that digivolves into Garurumon. What was its name? Good lord, what is its name? It's not Agumon, no, that's the dino that's the fire breathing dinosaur. It's um Patamon's the is the the one with the weird bat wing things that can turn into an angel for some reason. Um, Gomamon turns into a yeti. I'm try I'm vaguely remember. I'm trying to remember the Digimon I saw in season one of the show. So. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Cause I haven't watched that show in years. That's a Renamon. That's definitely a Renamon. I recognize it from season three of the show. Season season one had, cause season one, they had it was Ty and his friends. Season two, it was Ty's little sister and her friends. Season three it was a different group entirely. Season four, I believe season four, they decided to the humans were the Digimon. In season four, I think. Yeah. That was so weird.
that show got weird. I mean, it was already questionable to begin with, but it got weirder. It got weirder. You can tell a show goes off the rails when, when the humans decide, let's turn into the monsters instead of having the monsters as pets. Good God. Talk command. During battle, the talk command is only available on the turns of the main character. What is going on? I was reading that! Okay, so there's a Renamon. And there's, um... I thought I recognized the other thing. Time to learn some basics of battle. Can I... Uh, in battle. Can I get the, the, the voice acting to... Is there a dub set? Is there a dub section? For voice acting? Or is it just the Japanese? Cause I can kind of under I can halfway understand it with one piece. Maybe. Not particularly, actually, now that I think about it. No, I actually no, I can't understand it with one piece. It's like the voice actors are there. Though I don't reckon I don't think they'd be very cheap. I think they'd be kind of pricey, too, though. Anyway. In battle, the only way units, monsters, act is determined by their speed. Let's start with movement. Okay. Press A to choose the move command. Okay. So I'm moving Ren I'm moving Renamon. It's not Kawagamon. Kawagamon's the giant bug thing. Monochromon is the rhino. New blaster. That's his attack. That's that blue one's attack. What is he? What is he? Okay, I will look it up. It's Digimon Adventure. I see Tai. It's Agumon. It's Matt's Digimon. Gabumon! Gabumon! Good lord! What interesting names. Gabumon. Gabumon. Wow. That's Gabumon. Right. Jesus, I can remember almost the rest of them, but I couldn't remember Gabumon. The only reason I could remember Ties and, and TKs was because TKs turned into an angel somehow, and Ties was a fire-breathing dinosaur. And almost the mascot of the franchise. Anyway. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move Renamon... Somewhere. Uh, the area 
display on the grid represents the range of your character's movement. Okay, you can rotate the camera using le uh, LB or RB or adjacent the zoom with left and right trigger. Okay, left and right bumper or left and right trigger. Got it. It is also important to switch over the camera, switch over to the camera to get a full grasp of your situation. I'm guessing the situation here is we're gonna die. I got that grasp really good. Now move to the blinking square on the grid. Okay. Use move the cursor using the D-pad or left stick. Uh, move your cursor to the blinking square on the grid. Press A. Okay. Boop. That was very quick. I blinked. I literally blinked and missed it. Shouldn't there be a uh, couple steps, you know? Instead of, you're there. Now let's prepare an attack. Okay. <laughs> Press A to choose the attack command. Okay. You're thinking too highly of me already, game. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> so there's two. <laughs> Oh, oh god, you can do a regular attack or That's Renamon's signature attack, Diamond Storm? That's her signature attack? That's Renamon's signature attack, Diamond Storm. Here you see information on the skills. Uh, okay, it's zero special right now, so I can't use Diamond Storm. You could just punch and kick it, I guess. <laughs> Here you will see information on the skills you can use. Uh, this includes skills, effects, SP cost, range, and area. Okay. A skill's range is the distance it can reach while its area to the size of its effect. It refers to the area of the size of that. Okay. Passive skills are special abilities that are always on. Pay attention to how each one works. Passive skill. Calm and collected. Raises special attack one rank. Interesting. Deals earth damage to targets. What does the other one do? Uh, passive skill. Okay. Uh, first, let's see what happens with an ordinary attack. I'm guessing it doesn't do much. Uh, choose the attack from the skill list. Press A to confirm. Okay. So it's a range of two. It's a small range, and this one is duck and cover. <laughs> this one is okay you're fine this one is run away all right attack oh my god you can even attack gobblemon <laughs> you selected a target your estimate damage and accuracy will be displayed at 54 percent that's the target can you out? Can you actually also attack Gobblemon? Elemental affinities, critical hit percentage, and I feel like I got a sneeze. <coughs> there it goes. And more are also shown. So pay close attention. Counterattack percentage is particularly important. This is the chance an enemy will counter in your attack. Put the cursor on an enemy using the D-pad or left stick and press A. Alright. That's not it. It's already there. Okay, I'll press A.
<laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> Actually, I do. She did the equivalent of a bitch slap. <laughs> <laughs> I find it so funny. <laughs> oh, when you end your turn, you can face it in a direction with deep air left stick. She's already, she's already facing the, the mist from 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 lost. So I'm. Pretty sure she's good. <laughs> <laughs> the mist from Lost that you can avoid by standing in the middle of some flimsy birch trees. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that Let's Play. That was an interesting one. Uh, you take more damage if attacked from the side or from behind, so choose this carefully. So face them head on. And you're fine. <laughs> oh. Still, still bitch slap the smoke. <laughs> oh. oh, so what's Gawain gonna do? Lightly tap his horn to it. Just like... Yeah, that did a lot of damage. How much damage did it do? Negative one. Oh boy, you're going good, buddy. <laughs> Alright. I'm fine. Facing... Oh, oh I can move the kids. I can move the kids. Is that the digital world or did the Digimon end up in the real world? Again. Because they seem to do that interchangeably. Uh, okay. Check up on other units in battle. Switch the free cursor and get more info. Press B to switch to the cursor. B. Yeah. Rookie all rounder. Yep. This one is Gabumon. Oh. Gatomon. That's the cat one. Gatomon is the cat. That's uh. That was that. That was the partner Digimon of. Ty's little sister. She was already champion level. Which was hilarious. That was kind of hilarious in its own right, because her champion level was so small. Her champion level was about the size of a rookie level. What was Ty's little sister? Kari or something? She was voiced by Sugar. I think. No, she wasn't. She was voiced by... Who was she voiced by? I do know of one... Who was Sugar... Who did Sugar... Oh, yeah. Sugar voiced... Voiced Sailor Mini Moon from the Deke... Dub of Sailor Moon. That's who Sugar voiced. Right. Anyway. You're going to move the cursor... Yeah, on an enemy? Okay. That's... Me. That's currently Gobblemon. And there is... Oh, my. Uh, hover the cursor over a unit to see its info displayed in the upper right. That's, yep, that's some good info. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing even more now. Because Renamon did, didn't do it much. That <laughs> punch literally didn't, mu didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray, that punch did nothing. <laughs> it took a teeny sliver out of, of the health. Yep, that Renamon did a lot. Yep, she... And I'm calling, the only reason I'm calling Renamon a she is because it was a she in, in the season that I watched, so... Yeah, it was voiced by a woman in the season that I watched. That's why I'm calling Renamon a she. Because... There wasn't any male Renamon there. The season that I, the season that Renamon was introduced, there wasn't any male Renamon. It was just that one female one. Which is kind of interesting that in, in out of all the Digi Destined, them their partner Digimon were the same genders that they were. That's one thing that that. Uh, that's the other thing I'll always remember. The partner Digimon were... Were the same... No. No, they weren't. That's a lie. That's a lie. In Season 2, the Digidestin, one of the partner Digimon was a male to the Digidestin that was a female. I remember that. I do remember that. And there was another Digidestined. His uh, his partner Digimon was a Texan. <laughs> his partner Digimon was a Texas armadillo. <laughs> All right, upper right. Something about the upper right. Okay. Be more detailed information by pressing X in this state. Okay. <clears throat> Can I go to, uh... No, I can't. I'm not allowed. Okay. Press X. That's a frog thing. That... Yep. That looks like... Yep. I, uh... <clears throat> That's odd. For some reason, you can't see any information about this enemy. Really? Yeah, I see its picture, and, uh... I'd rather, I'd wish I didn't, you know. There's nothing more to learn here. Press B to stop displaying this information. Okay. I'll stop displaying that. Can I display it in one of these two? That didn't reveal anything useful. Switch back to the regular cursor and, uh, and just go all out. Press B to switch back to the regular cursor. I'd rather no. Let me, you bastard. Fine. This, this is no ordinary foe. Aim for extra damage by attacking it from behind. How do you know what's behind on that thing? It's covered in smoke. Okay. Move to the blinking square behind the enemy. Alright. You teleported for most of that. Use a skill for big damage. Each skill move has uh, its own special cost. Alright. Uh, choose attack the attack command like before, then select the blaster. Blue blaster! Blue blaster? It's called Blue Blaster? I thought it was called New Blaster. Like N-U Blaster. I thought it was called New Blaster. Was I mishearing it? Well, then again, the seasons that I did watch, I, I watched them on, on VHS, so... There's a good chance I misheard. There's a very good chance I misheard... 
I misheard him, him say his attack. Very good chance. Very good chance. Very slim, but it's very good. Very good chance I misheard him. <coughs> I misheard. Agumon, that one's clear. Pepper breath. That one is. That one's obvious. It's kind of hard to miss a P sound. But apparently it's very easy to miss a B sound. Okay. Uh, confirm then. Blue Blaster. Then why would it be called Mute Blaster? Then? Oh well. Blue Blaster! Uh, move the cursor over the enemy. It's already there. Yep. Good, good shot there. Renamon really looks like she needs to go to the toilet. Good lord. My god, Renamon, you look like you have to go to the toilet very badly. And Digimon was one of those few anime that were not shy about shit. I do remember that clearly. Pokemon? Not a bathroom in sight. Digimon? Let's throw some Digimon. Let's openly throw our poop around. Good God. You dealt extra damage by performing a rear attack. Oh, yep. With that horn, you can definitely do it. Flank attacks also do more damage. Alright. Doesn't seem to have taken much damage. No, you think? Its health bar is blue, though. Is this enemy too powerful to defeat? War of attrition, baby! War of attrition. <laughs> Mm, yep, you you can stay there. Because if that thing turns around, it'd be better. You got him flanked by both sides there, buddy. <clears throat> Cutscene? While you're doing your thing. I won't let you harm these children anymore? What is wrong with you? That's one thing that always makes me tilt my head in anime is when, when a very vulnerable human stands in front of people, puts her arms straight out, and just like, I won't let you attack them anymore. Like, listen, puny human, that is a very powerful creature which nearly incinerated your friend with a snap of its fingers. What are you going to do to stop it?
How how are you gonna put a stop to it by standing there in a T pose? That's not gonna do anything. And look, a glowy spear thing. Or did she T posing suddenly? Did her T posing suddenly get uh, get the creature to you know? Did you got you just got hit because of your stupidity, didn't you? I won't let you hurt these children anymore. They're computer programs, lass. I'm pretty sure they'll survive. I've seen it happen. They'll just get turned back into an egg, then they'll have to start their cycle all over again. I've seen it happen. Don't worry. They're digital monsters. Emphasis on digital. As long as their code is not gone, as long as their code doesn't get absorbed, they're fine. Now that being said... That being said... In season one of the anime, Gatomon's friend... Wizardmon... Did did lose his life in the real world, and instead of getting like reconstituted in the digital world, he literally died. And his ghost, his ghost haunted. Haunted a build of uh, haunted a radio a radio station there. It was quite unique. Out of all the Digimon that attacked the real world in season one, the Wizardmon's the only one that didn't come back. Wizardmon's the only one that had a permadeath. Which is amazing. I find that very amazing that they did that in a children's show. That they gave one of the they they, they gave a character, a creature that has the ability to come back to life after death, a permadeath. They weren't messing around in that first season of Digimon, good lord. First, second, first and second season of the Digimon, they were not messing around. They were definitely not messing around in the first and second seasons. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining the experience. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to raise hell. Subscribe some more, and I'll see you next video. So long.